Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the functions and the question says to us here from this topic that find the domain of the function here. So we have been asked to find the domain of the function and function is given by f of x is one over four minus x square plus log of x cube minus x to the base 10. So we need to find the value of the domain of this function. And if I talk about the answer choices, the options given to us are that the values of x lies between minus one and zero or one and two or two till infinity. The second says the values of x lies between minus two minus one or minus one zero or two and infinity. And the third says between one and two or two and infinity. And the fourth domain is given to us as minus one, zero, one, two, and the third is three and infinity. So let's figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct value for the domain of this function here. So first of all, if I see there are two functions, so let's take, let's say this is f1 of x and let's say this is f2 of x. So we'll find the domain of these two functions individually and then we'll add it to find the intersection of the values of x which are common to both the functions. So first of all, if I take f of first f1 of x which is 1 over 4 minus x square. Now we know that whenever we need to find the domain of the function, we need to find such values of x where your function becomes undefined. So I know for a fraction, your function becomes undefined when your denominator becomes equal to zero. So if your denominator becomes equal to zero, you get a fraction, which is one over zero, which basically makes your function as undefined. So I understand that if I equate x square minus four with zero, I get x square is equal to four and that gives you x as plus or minus two. Now we need to find the domain of a function where your function should be defined. It should not be undefined, right? So your denominator should not turn out zero here. So if I equate it with, instead of zero, not equating it with zero, I get X cannot be equal to plus or minus two, because if X is equal to plus or minus two, your denominator would become zero and you get an undefined function. So we do not want our function to become undefined. So we cannot have the values of x as plus or minus two. So I understand for f1 of x, my domain of the function cannot hold the values of x as minus two and x as plus two. So I can have all the other values between minus infinity and infinity. So if I rewrite the function for this, it is minus infinity and minus two, union minus two and two, and union two and infinity. So this is the common value that I can have for the domain of the first function f1 of x. Let's see for the second one, f2 of x, it's given to us as log of x cube minus x to the base 10. Now we know for this function, it will become undefined when log this base, which is there to the base 10. So this part, which is there cannot be negative because log of negative function is not defined and log of zero also to the base 10 is also not defined. So it cannot be negative, it cannot be zero as well. So I understand that the value of that x cubed minus x, that expression should always be positive. So if I try to solve it now, so that you get the domain of this function as well, you take x common, you get x squared minus one, positive, you get x, x plus one, x minus one, positive. So you get that the product of these three should be positive. So first of all, let's find the values of x on the number line where the product of these three will be positive. So instead of 
inequality if i first put equality to get my values of x so that i know the limits so i get x can be 0 x can be minus 1 or x can be 1 so i'm equating each of the expression with 0 and you get the three values of x once you get them you get minus 1 0 and 1 now you just need to figure out that product of these three expansions that is the x x plus 1 and x minus 1 let's see where it is positive so if i take let's say the limit for x greater than 1 let's say 2 so if you put 2 2 into 2 plus 1 and 2 minus 1 so positive 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 so it is positive for all values of x greater than 1 if it is positive for all values of x greater than 1 for the next one it would become negative again it will become positive and again it will become negative so we know alternately you get the functions turning out positive and negative now once i know this that the functions are positive for the values of x between minus 1 and 0 and between 1 and infinity so you get the domain of this function also that when you need this expression to become positive that is greater than 0 that only happens in the domain of values of x from between minus 1 and 0 and 1 and infinity so if i see now i have both the functions with me f1 of x and f2 of x so for f1 of x i have it from minus infinity between minus infinity and minus 2 union minus 2 and 2 union 2 and infinity so it is not just equal to the values of x being plus or minus 2 otherwise for all the other values of x you have that function defined and the function second which was there it was defined for the values of x which hold from minus 1 to 0 and then between 1 and infinity. So now if I see, let's write the domain for the entire function together f1 of x plus f2 of x. So if you find the intersection now, the common region which is there, so I get it. The first thing, if you see here, f1 of x cannot be equal to minus 2 or 2 and f2 of x has the limits from minus 1 to 0 so this was the possible limit and the other limit was from 1 till infinity so this were the possible limits but in the first case you had the entire thing except minus 2 and 2. so now if you see the common region you have here you have this common region that is between minus 1 and 0 union then between 1 and 2 as well you have this common region so 1 and 2 and the last one from between 2 till infinity you have this entire region so 2 and infinity so you get the domain of this entire function and if you see the answer choice that matches here with the question it was minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 2 infinity. So minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 2 infinity. So it matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of functions. So in this question, we got the answer for the function's value as option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. So what we did was we just separated the two functions f1x and f2x and we found the values of x where it will turn the function to become undefined. So for those values of x you cannot have that in the domain. So except that whatever values of x were there which makes a function defined you hold that in the domain. So you get for the first function x cannot be equal to plus or minus 2. For second you got it that log of this expression to the base 10 so that expression should be positive because log of positive to the base 10 is only defined so you get the domain for that as well if you combine the two functions you get the answer matching with option a so a becomes the correct answer for the question given to us i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on 11 12th as well as jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, 
please do like the videos as well and subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JW. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. See you tomorrow with another video. Thank you. Thank you.